Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I am King, Director of Athletic Communications, Travis Chell, here with John Wheaton of the men's volleyball team. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Um, last week ended the week with a, a sweep of Marymount here uh, in the student center complex, uh, following a few few tough losses there. Can you talk about how that win can maybe build some momentum going forward as you take on a, a long stretch of road games here? Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, we were struggling for a little <laughs> while. We had a little. Uh, losing streak but the win we get some momentum now and I think we're gonna keep rolling so yeah it's always nice to get get that first one to kind of kind of get something going here for you personally had a pretty good match I believe uh, six block assists and a, and a solo block um, can you talk about how what your mentality was that night maybe in general at the net trying to trying to slow down the other team's uh, offense um, yeah no I mean blocking is one of our team's you know strongest points and uh, mm -hmm. So we really excel at that. So all of us, we've just been working on it in practice. And uh, yeah, it's you know, proved to be effective, so. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. It, it came, came out pretty nice, I believe, 10 or 11 blocks. Yeah. Um, it's always nice to get quick points like that too off the offense, isn't it? Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, going forward, a whole lot of road matches coming up starting tonight at, uh, at Erskine on Tuesday night and then Friday, another Conference Carolinas match at Emmanuel. Um, Talk about playing on the road and how much different that is to playing at home and maybe the different mentality of, of having to travel. Okay, yeah, well, um, obviously it's better to be at home. You know, you got the home crowd supporting you. Um, honestly, traveling doesn't really affect me personally. Uh, the team, it doesn't really seem to affect a whole lot. But, uh, I mean, we're going to definitely want to beat those teams, you know, on their home court because, you know, it's definitely a big statement if we do. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that's for sure. That And the road trip continues next week, so it's a, it's going to be a long trip on the road here for the Tornado. Um, anything you try and do to keep yourself fresh with all the long road trips or anything like that between matches? Uh, icing, parts that <laughs> hurt, ice baths, those definitely help. Yeah, just try and rest mm -hmm. as much as we can. That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, well, I guess we'll go back. One more question here about um, defense and um, is up front, you know, obviously you're blocking with a couple different people. Um, how's, the, how's the chemistry up there with, with Drucker or anyone else you might be, might be with up there and, and helping out with, with some of the, the defense? Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely me, me and Jeff Sprayberry. We've been playing together for like four years now. Okay. Fifth year would be now. Um, and so, you know, we know each other real well. We, chemistry is great between us. Um, but, I mean, even with Drucker and Sean, you know, Besson, we're all, we're all just connecting really well. It's yeah. great. Yeah, that, that actually that helps a lot. Uh, tonight, Erskine, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, links for live stats, live video if available will be on kingtornado.com. Same with Friday at Emmanuel. Uh, thanks for joining us, and good luck this week. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.